Hey beautiful simmers, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. So I built this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I built this beautiful home and I was really having some fun with the terrain tools. And this is just friendly reminder to like have fun with your game because it's really it's not by force you don't have to look or do anything that you don't want to do and there's all these really fun tools under terrain uh flatten lot no this one elevation and you can raise the ground create uh, inclines or like kind of like more turbulent inclines or sunken land it's just really cool so you can see here i've actually done that let me make sure yeah and I put this little deco lawnmower out here because, like, is this not, like, the cutest thing you've ever seen? And it just looks like the gardener left the lawnmower out and didn't put it back in the shed. And then I created this lovely pathway. This is just terrain spray. And then I'm using these invisible fences right here, right here. I think they're called moi invisible fence. Yeah, moais, moai, moi. Um, invisible fence meshless fence from mod the sims um and i put this this is invisible so you can see you can't even see what's going on but it's there okay it's working uh and so i use this invisible fencing for my pathway here so that i blocked these areas off so that the sim isn't gonna like leave the house and walk all the way out here all the way here like they'll follow the path like civilized beings okay civilized beings i want to give you a quick tour of this house i'm still working on it um this is stone his name is stone jones he is a crime lord but he's blue collar okay he works at the local business center he's been uh sent here to caliente coast as a regional manager i believe that's his job title right now senior manager there you go uh, in my head it's like regional you know he was he was transferred to this location and um he uh yeah he leads a team at the business center and they do like all the business affairs for the town but little do you know he's actually um counterfeiting money and he does some crimes he does have some organized crime activity um i created a really unique driveway here this driveway is functional and then this car is deco and it's just to make it look like he's got cores okay he's got cores because he's got money period i mean that car is kind of old but maybe it's just like a vintage one you know he's a collector um okay so let's actually go into the home which i did build um let me go on the first floor here i'm not really gonna edit this video too much honestly because i don't have time and the editing prevents me from filming. So I put these, um, yeah, prevent, the editing prevents me from putting up videos because I'm like, oh, well, I have to edit it. And I don't have time to do that because I'm super busy. Um, but if I don't have to edit it, then I can just get videos out for you guys. So I hope that you'll, you know, accept this protocol. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I hope you're all doing great. So I put these cool video cameras out here. These are deco. I wish that these functioned as burglar alarms. Wouldn't that be really cool? You could just put them here and then they'd still alarm when somebody tries to come in. But they, they don't. They don't. Okay. So when you walk in, I have this like really cute um, arc. But it just looks like a, a door open. I feel like somebody's going to ask me where this is from. So let me tell you. Let me tell you in advance. So you don't have to ask me where it's from. This is... Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's Linda Sims, you guys. Yeah, I believe it's Linda Sims and it's Ark, as you can see. Okay, so when you walk in, you have, and you guys should go check out Pinka Styles blog, where you can get lots of CC from different creators like Linda Sims. You walk in, we have a little um, shoe rack. Okay, sorry, my game lighting is being off, so just give it a moment. There you go. You have this shoe rack here and you have these really nice, these are the greenhouse walls that come with the game. Really lovely. Then when you walk in, you can see on this corner here, um, sorry, I also want to say one thing I did notice is that my game does not lag when I'm playing casually for myself. My game lags when I have OBS running. OBS is what I use to actually film these videos. So that's such a pain and such a shame also because you're not enjoying it the same way I am. But I hope that you'll, you know, hope that it'll still be interesting. So in this corner, he has a, a table. He has this cute little white lighthouse figurine. And I figured like he just got it on a trip or something to like, I mean, this is Caliente Coast. It's a beach. There is a coastal area, beachy area. So maybe he got that from like a local vendor down there. Then we have this beautiful record player. This is so well made. It's Max's Match and it's functional. And then a pretty um, artwork piece here. Some people say to do this. This is me using the right click on my mouse, but I don't know how then you spin. Okay, we can try this. That's fine. 
then let's not skip this side let's not skip this side when you walk in you get to this lovely kitchen you guys are you kidding me are you kidding me this is so stunning so first of all at first the kitchen was white with black counters but i just was playing around with the swatches and i'm just like i think brown i really think brown brown is giving masculine it's also giving um like fresh renovation but it's also giving different right it's giving kind of homey giving kind of cozy cozy vibes um okay so let's talk about it on this side of the home he has this really nice artwork here and then we have this smoothie machine maker thing smoothie counter from jackie 93 sims he can make some smoothies in the morning time and then we have a water cooler and i know this is giving kind of corporate but i also think he's just the kind of guy who like drinks filtered water um do you want to see how this functions because i can most definitely show you he's actually getting a drink so i'll tell him to stop doing that to get a drink from here so you can actually see how that looks um yeah so this is him getting a drink from the water cooler and i think it just looks so cool and then he'll go sit down with his drink and i love that he's just that kind of bougie like he doesn't drink tap water he drinks filtered spring spring water alkaline okay and then after um that we have this side right here and this is the kitchen area i'm not quite done i'm done with the clutter on the counters i'm not done with this pantry shelf and i'll show you in a moment but these are these island uh tables and these chairs are not aligned because i don't want them to actually sit here and eat this is just this is just for the visual okay and then we have this really nice area where you can get a nice view so i imagine like we're gonna get more appliances for sure but you get like the nice view of the city you know and he doesn't really live in the city side. He lives more in like the countryside. The city side is more like down there. He lives in a more secluded area. Um, but I like kitchens that have big windows and this just em embodied that for me. Then on this side is where I want to develop more. So he has his Nest Cafe pods are these. Sorry, let me show you. Sorry, sorry. Don't get motion sickness. It's incredible country coffee. So he has his coffee pods right here because he's a coffee guy. You know, you wake up in the morning, get your coffee. But he doesn't have, he has some plates and stuff. And then I need more snacks. I put some oatmeal up here, some cornflakes, but I need more snacks. I feel like he would have some like organic kale chips or, you know, something like that. I don't know. I feel like I need to fill this up more. I just was so tired <laughs> after building and everything. I was like, oh, put the coffee pods on there and we'll make it work okay let me show you the rest of this place sorry uh and again not gonna edit too much i'm just doing this raw just for you guys okay this is the actual kitchen itself i kept the clutter quite minimal you can see on the countertop he has some oranges headphones i kept the clutter minimal because he's not a cluttered dude he has cleaners come in and clean for him right so i imagine that the cleaners are the ones who set up their organic products some napkins you know they wash his mugs that he uses for his coffee he has a countertop stove sink a dish rack that the cleaners are the ones you know using his coffee is here so that's why it made sense that the pods are right here he has a little tablet some bowls and then this is a two level stove and i think the cabinets the black with the accents everything looks so good and trash can here of course everything looks so good so he's just drinking his water as we can see he's like how many how many cups of water are you gonna make me drink because i've made him drink several as i've tested this lot now we look to our left when we look to our left this is the beautiful absolutely stunning dining area and again minimal clutter minimal so i use you see this black arc right here this is from nooks and niches set this is the nooks and niches set and then um this is a maxis match dining set that i have these lights are also very beautiful i have um, some wine racks up here because i think he's a drinker he's a drinker and that's why i put some hennessy on the table as well um minimal keep it clean but when he has visitors when he has guests when he's entertaining when he's whining and dining somebody um he'll definitely have his private chef make them some dinner sit here turn off all the lights turn on only these and have have a vibe have a vibe okay when we leave the kitchen uh i already showed you this little corner there is an elevator over here and i thought this was just a bit different you know elevator instead of stairs switch it up a bit but let's talk about what's on our right right over here right over here we have this stunning beautiful living room this i did my big one i did my very much big one because are you kidding me this looks so freaking stunning my bad this looks so stunning sorry ignore that there's no ceiling yet i'm not done and i just built it upstairs so things are in progress okay it's progress but this is beautiful 
you can't even kid me that this is not absolute stunning so let's talk about it in this living room here my vision was that it's kind of open concept so ugh, sorry the elevator's in the way kind of open concept so i have this lovely couch i feel like somebody's gonna ask me where the couch is from so let me check now because i'm not in my game too often these days because i'm super busy with work and life and everything so this is a leo leo mesa sofa i don't know where it's from exactly but that's what it's called you could google leo mesa sofa sims 2 to try and figure that out uh and when i get the time i can always do some digging so this sofa is really nice and it goes with the browns again the brown is giving me like masculine but like excellence and opulence you know it's giving me luxury black men in luxury and then we have some books here because you know he's a businessman he gotta he gotta keep up with with the times and then over here this is one of my favorite parts of the home and look how i decorated this first of all the vases and stuff it just feels like he hired an interior decorator to do this because he's booked and busy he doesn't have time to look for tables he doesn't have time to cut wood but so he got an interior decorator who really put this together for him like look at this coffee table it's like a log are you kidding me that's beautiful and it just goes with the wood in the corner there everything here looks really really lovely um we have some book sh book uh stands this vase here it just everything looks so good then on this side i created um this kind of divider so the divider are these two chairs and then he has a little drinky drink because he's a drinker he has a, a expensive candle and then these really nice chairs that incorporate and tie in that brown i really really like that like this looks so good to me and then the rug is like an antique kind of rug i just feel like he hired an interior designer and, and that interior designer was me he hired me um and i did it for him <laughs> and then back here i left it a little bit open i put a little cute plug here i thought that was a nice decor item this nice industrial looking plant because of the um the texture of this vase or uh, planter i felt like it just made it look a little more rustic a little more masculine of course, I'm using the shelf from the Modern Luxe. Shout out to Zuriella, Zurela, um, Sims 4 converter. Lord Crumbs did that, I believe. Or was it TV Vicky Sims? Um, I don't remember. I want to shout out accordingly. But this is from the Luxury Modern Luxe collection from Sims 4. Lord Crumbs converted it. I am obsessed with these bookshelves. Honestly, I've seen none that are as beautiful as this. And they come with the clutter on it. And then there's swatches with different clutter. Like Zurela did her big one. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something for everyone. Um, and I absolutely just, I love. And you don't have to waste your time like cluttering the whole thing, which can be tiring at times. Then we have some artwork here. And then he has this beautiful bar. This is by the bar and the cocktail board are by Jackie93Sims. And he can actually just come over here and make different drinks. Um, a sweet night, a strawberry margarita, blue lagoon, etc. So my thinking is this is a living room where he'll like watch movies and like entertain or whatever. But this bar area can be also like a nice social place. Um, um and maybe some dancing some drinks i don't know i just felt like just keeping it open felt like the right thing to do so this is the living room and then the kitchen and everything now sorry don't get dizzy don't get dizzy take your time cool now on this side right the house is still in development so i'm gonna walk you through what i'm working on um on this side here we have this is gonna be his office so I put a table in here just to like remind myself, but this is a desk, but this is going to be his office, right? And then there's going to be some sort of like security door. I'll probably put like another camera here. Like there's, there'll be some sort of industrial security looking door, right? And then when you go through the door, this room right here is going to be where he actually does the counterfeiting of the money. And I believe I can counterfeit money with what aspiration rewards. I might have some. I have to look into it, but I have a mod that unlocks the aspiration rewards um, for me. So I'm not like struggling at all. Oh, okay. I have a microscope. Oh, this is cool. I don't know why I just randomly looked at this, but you guys I'm building. I've built a school and I have a class that I want to uh, make into a science class for extracurriculars because you guys, my town is is bursting at the seams not not bursting I'm, I'm lying but my town is um growing and we've had we have two babies now and one pregnancy that will soon come is he going to be able to use it no, you can't use it because you need a better chair all righty all righty let me get you a chair i do want to test this out i don't even know where these came from truthfully truthfully uh i don't even know microscope 
Okay. <laughs> it's like telling me how to pronounce it. Uh, why can't I use it though? This one's ugly. Work with me, y'all. What if I put it here? Would he be able to use it then? Look through. It's the chair. Oh, maybe there shouldn't be a chair. Oh, okay. Let's try it then. Let me grab... Oh, I don't have move objects on. It says must place on dining table or desk. Well, we have a desk. You guys, we have a desk. Remember I just said I put down a desk? Why can't I grab this? Object is in use. Okay. That's why we use this sheet. This sheet and it's called move objects on. So that Sims can't tell us what to do. Let's try this microscope. I know this is kind of random, but I know a lot of you all want to do like family gameplay and stuff or want to create your own schools or whatever. So I figured why not just try it out right now. Let's try it right here. Maybe that he doesn't need a chair. Maybe you look through the microscope as you're standing. This is what I'm thinking. This could be really cool. Even if you have a, a lab, is he going to be able to use it? He's like, I need a chair. What kind of chair do you need? Can you, can you explain to me what kind of chair you need? Should it go here? He needs a chair, but I don't know what kind of chair, you guys. This is, this is the hardship. Hardship of Sims, right? Let's try this chair. Look through. Oh, okay. So a desk work. He needed a dining chair. Oh. Okay. Is he gaining skills? yeah it says that he's gaining logic that's what the item said let's go back to it this is so cool you guys not me sharing with you a gem yeah it says that you gain fun and logic that is so cool so if you i wanted to make a um classroom that was a science room with science as the extracurricular so you can literally just like use these micros microscopes yeah. and put them down on the tables and the students mm -hmm. can come in and do like science experiments and stuff. Yeah. Or if you have a doctor's yeah. office and you want to create like a lab in the pharmacy where the students can, mm -hmm. not the students, the workers or maybe students, who knows, yeah. some students can be assigned to active careers to learn and not get paid yeah. um, internships. Uh, but this is really cool. I think this is amazing. So anyway, so let's continue what we're doing. <laughs> he is, this is his office. And then this is going to be where he counterfeits the money. I have a mod that unlocks the aspiration rewards. I realize that it's a bit dark. It's because I don't have lights in the home. So let's, let me do it on this side. Um, like this one, for example, this one is the eye object litigator podium. This comes when you unlock, I don't know, political career or something. So it just, it's already unlocked. We don't need to like worry about it. And probably this one as well. What is this one? no this is a telescope okay it's very beautiful though very nice um so which um aspiration reward causes uh okay which one is a counterfeit one this one is here this one is the biotech station and i'll share the mod that unlocks all these because i'm not going to wait for my sims to become at the top of their career before i use these items like these are fun items i have this lab one in the hospital so we have a lab tech who creates medicine uh, i think this one's plastic surgery no this is the lie finder hone the skill to lie cheat and steal with the sensor twitch lie finder <laughs> that's kind of fun if you have a police station <laughs> you can have an interrogation room <laughs> an interrogation room that's so fun uh we also have this one a surgical station yeah i want to so you guys know i've already made a video of active careers hospital um and i want to um make another hospital like a surgery surgery hospital like a second branch or something or i'll expand the current hospital to have like a theater room where they do surgery but i want to have like a um another location where sims would get plastic surgery that's not like the hospital but i don't have enough sims in my town yet to run that uh i'm looking for the counterfeit machine this is the biotech station oh we have this chocolate manufacturing i love this machine if you're going to create a factory which i will be creating and i'll show you guys all of that active careers factory active careers business they're all coming up anyway but um, i'll show you how i do that but this is a really great item to use for factory and these are not custom content pieces like these things come in the game right excuse me so yeah i'm a little bit under the weather uh, but I'm, I'm pushing through. I'm looking for the counterfeit machine. Am I missing it? This is the resurrect thing. Cosmetic surgeon. Yeah, this is for plastic surgery. We love to see it. 
Uh, there is a counterfeit machine. I just don't know where it is. Ooh, coconut pinball. That's cool. Um, am I just missing it or what? If I can't find it in like five seconds, I'll give up. And then I'll just let you know in the comments or in the description if I find it and where it was. But I know that there is a machine where your Sims can literally make um, counterfeit money. Should I Google it really quickly? I'm not going to edit this video, so I don't want to take a long pause. So give me a moment. Oh, what's this one, though? This looks like a gun. I need to buy a gun. Oh, fingerprint scanner. Okay, so if you're going to do a police station or something like this, there's so many good items in here, you guys. This is so cool. So I say unlock those aspirations, honey. Unlock them and enjoy your time. Like, we got this cool rock band thing. Like, there's so many cool things in here. Let me look for the counterfeit m machine, and I'm just going to do, like, a quick Google. While I'm doing that, how are you all doing? I hope that you're doing well. I know this video is a bit random, but I guess sometimes we just want to talk about Sims 2. You know what I mean? We don't even want to play. <laughs> I mean, I want to play, of course, and I am playing, but sometimes you just want to have a good time. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So with Sims 2, there is a counterfeit machine, and it is called the Genuine Bucks Famous Counterfeit Machine. So I knew I wasn't tripping. Tripping. It is an aspirational reward. It might be an electronics, maybe. Um... Or did I only unlock the base game ones? I didn't because this punching bag didn't come with the base game, did it? Didn't this come with like free time? I don't know. I could be wrong. I have like this planter one, this gardening one, but didn't gardening come with seasons? Right? So that's why I'm like, it seems like I would have this. Um, I can also just put in that cheat that causes all aspiration rewards to be unlocked. And we can do that. That's another way to get um all the aspiration items. So let's do that. Sims 2 aspiration rewards cheat. And the cheat is... Uh, no, I don't like that one. Okay. Are these career rewards or aspiration rewards? Let me look quickly in electronics because the counterfeit machine is indeed a machine. It could be in electronics. I don't know. I've never actually seen it, but I know about it, if that makes sense. Um, 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 I hope that I can find it. If I can, oh, it's right here. It's right here, you guys. I found it. Whoa, do you see the price on this thing? Genuine Bucks Famous Counterfeiting Machine. I'm gonna mother load Mr. Stone. Mother, mother load, right? Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna grab him this counterfeit machine. You guys, this is how it looks. Okay, this is how it looks. I wonder, will the police just like come to my house if I use it, or does someone have to see me using it? I don't know. Let's put a quick light in here and then I'll show you all. I'll just break down one of the doors and I'll show you all how it looks. Okay. So again, this door will be sealed and there'll be a proper um, door there with a security camera and everything. But for a purpose of this video, let's have him stop the microphone or the microscope rather. And let's see how he gets up. Okay. Yeah, he just stops it. That's cool. I really like this microphone. I'm micro I keep saying microphone. This microscope they told me how to say it in the description okay um counterfeit simoleons he's like all right here we go get the money get these simoleons nobody's gonna know a thing i hope the police doesn't come we have a burglar i mean we're not a burglar but... so how much money will we make if we keep doing this we're counterfeiting money so we he's washing money he runs a business then he takes money real money from that business and then counterfeits money and replaces it and so the business is basically like a cover for his counterfeiting operation let's see how much we make from that get the cash Ooh, okay and then we get the cash yeah how much was that 50 bucks or something <laughs> He had, I don't know, was that 500 or was that 50? He had a want to earn some money. So my thinking is that every so often, we're going to use this machine and roll and roll and roll. And then we're not going to get the cash. We're going to let it stock up. And then um, after a while, we'll get it. And I'm sure there'll be a big lump sum. And then he'll use that to like, 
I don't know, sell, sell like fake medicine or like, you know, do some more sketchy stuff. So this is super cool to me and I'm so excited to be able to use it. So that's the vision there when it comes to um, this space. This will be his office. It'll be really nice. And the, this will be the security high profile room, top secret room. Nobody can go in because he's literally washing money. And then in this side, let me put the thing back up. Yeah, there's an arc here. And this will be his bedroom. This is what I'm thinking. This will be a really nice bedroom for him. And I think someone just called me, did they? No, they did not. Okay. Um, okay, so this will be uh the um bedroom and i want his bedroom to be like very black i want like black sheets i want things to be kind of dark looking um in the room and then the light just coming from the windows maybe some candles low light keeping it very scenic and relaxing and then back here is going to be his bathroom so i put sliding doors in and then he has just like a big closet and this is his home and then on this side right remember the elevator I, the reason i put this elevator with the second floor is because i said this house i put so much energy into building this stunning home doesn't it look really pretty in the nighttime as well i put so much energy into building this home that when he gets married if he gets married uh when he um what else will he'll, he'll have kids right i'm not moving them out like you we're, we're gonna make it work here all this work in this house i'm gonna make it work so what i did was i added this elevator on the far right and when you go upstairs there's a section of the home that is available for development and so this will probably look like what i'm probably gonna do let me show you is like this washroom here one room one room so this will be like the hallway area washroom and two bedrooms so there's a bedroom and a washroom downstairs and then this will be the um, upstairs room so if he has children or not even children but if he eventually will have like live-in staff maybe i'm thinking he might even have like a live-in daddy if he ever has kids because he's probably going to be so uninterested <laughs> he's probably gonna be so interested with like changing diapers and stuff like he's that kind of guy like he's really like i'm really trying to make this money i'm trying to hustle i'm trying to be notorious in these streets you know what i mean so i think that yeah maybe one room for the living nanny one room for his like one spoiled rotten but neglected child and then the washroom <laughs> so i'm gonna have fun with his storyline but i'm really excited about this house and i wanted to show it to you uh and just chat with you guys and see how you all are doing i know it's been a minute since i've made a video and i've just been super busy real life is going great but real life is also busy um and yeah I've been playing Sims, but I've just been playing, and I think that I'm really enjoying just playing and not having to record everything. Uh, so this is why I had this inspiration to build this house. So once Mr. Stone, Mr. Jones, but his name is Stone, and I like calling him Mr. Stone, um, he is going to be uh, the regional manager at the business career. So now we have him, we have all the other employees, they're all ready to go. So the next video I make will probably be active careers, how to run a business. And you guys, I have some amazing mods to show you. Um, so you already know I come through with the mods. You guys don't even need to question it. You guys know I come through with the mods. So yeah. Um, and then also I'm having some weird like crashing issues when I put in two different mods that I want to showcase you with you guys. So that's kind of annoying. So l give me some time to fine tune. And then I'll share with you those two mods that are going to add so much gameplay to your game. And then of course I still have my overrides video that I'm going to make. I just need some time y'all. Give me some time. Give me some time. In the meantime. Um, yeah. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any other lots. I know this lot is not finished. I'll share updates on my community tab with pictures when I'm finished. Uh, if you want to see some other lots, I have, you know, I have a basketball court. I have a soccer field. I have um, a food truck lot. I have a roller rink. Oh, no, I have an ice skating location. I have an Asian restaurant. There's lots of lots. So if you want to see them and you are down to see them, please go ahead and let me know in the comments. Happy, more than happy to share with them, with them, share them with you. Sorry, can't talk. Uh, but I will say these are just for inspiration. I can't put all these lots up for a download. I use so much CC and it takes a lot of time to find the CC that I've used, credit the CC creators and then package the files and then host them somewhere online uh, with heavy files. Like Dropbox sends me emails every day that like I don't even have space. You know what I mean? So uh, bear with me. But I hope you all enjoy and um, let me know what else you want to see. Stay tuned for some fun videos and we'll talk again really soon. Take care. Bye.